Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here. After being bitten by a radioactive bird, uh, me, somewhat mannered T. Todd Hill, feels possessed to try and become Kinius, the Sky Dude, or a uh, Sky Dude. So, episode 33, Happy Friday, TGIF. I am sorry I am late. I was delayed. Not only was I delayed, I'm going to show you something. We get Neofly loaded up here. So after yesterday's live stream, um, I just shut down Neofly. And uh, my pilots all continued to, I don't know, stay out and party all night long. Because when I loaded it up this morning to prepare for the live stream, they were all under 50% health. Not a single pilot had recharged their health overnight. So, um, I guess it was kind of a good thing that I got delayed. So I yanked them all out of their planes and shut it back down. Let's find out. Make sure this thing is switching for you automatically. One moment here. Automatic scene switcher, and then you'll be able to see the screens that I switched to. Let's start with this one here. The, um, the Neofly main screen here. Get it slid over to another monitor. Classic channels cracking me up today. Literally classic music. I guess this must all be uh, public domain stuff because, you know, who hasn't heard a lot of these tracks? Okay, let's check our pilots. All right, they're back to 100%. That's good. All right, well, I need to put them all in their, in their planes and get them going. And today's going to be a testing day. If you look here, under my qualifications, I've only got um, a qualification going for small planes, and then I needed the qualification, the seat qualification here, or at least to get started, so I could get the Cessna Caravan and start doing uh, better paying missions. I don't have anything else. And I haven't got three, I haven't achieved three stars on anything yet. So once everybody gets going, what I'd like to do is, uh, I guess, try to take some of these tests over again and figure out, you know, what, what am I missing? Why aren't I getting three stars? So that's kind of the goal today. While the other people, um, the pilots work towards six million we did reach the goal of five million yesterday but due to a, an oil pressure failure and a plane crash and uh on two planes well it happened on one plane but then another plane suffered a bunch of damage so we had over 300 400 thousand dollars worth of repairs to do yesterday to pay for so we did reach our goal but yeah but now we had to pay for all that stuff and that's the way it goes. So let me get into the hangar here and get these pilots back into their planes. Classic music seemed appropriate for this being a testing day. Should be all of them. I just need to give them a tiny bit more fuel and then get them on their way. Always. 
always check their fuel. I haven't tried airline, creating an airline yet. I have no idea what is involved with doing that. All I can say is if I had to start over, the, one of the first things I'd do with the money that I made, start hiring pilots so that they can help you build up money as fast as possible because you're gonna end up hating life. I mean, this it really is a grind. Alright, that's all the pilots working. Let's just double check here. The first icon is a real-time icon to tell you that tells you what they're doing. And if there's something there in this first spot, one of these white icons, they're active and they're they're currently doing something. Like starting engines, loading and embarking, taxing to runway. Right, so they're good. Alright. Test, 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 one, two, testing, one, two, okay. So, we go to test A. We have a couple of locations that aren't too far away. The only planes I've been interested in, really, uh... I thought that the more tests that you took, that's how, how you got your stars. And I was mistaken. 
You can get three stars on any qualification if you do well enough. Obviously, I haven't done well enough to garner three stars on any of my tests yet. Okay, but you don't have to take three tests in three different planes. All right, and the only plane that I have been interested in is the Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Right, so there is a testing facility for it right there. Yukon 2CD6. That's with the G1000. I like that. Doesn't really matter, really. The Okay. So what we need to do is we need to select the test and then move our pilot to it. And that one's for an amphibian and an amphibian plane. I don't want that one. Now they want me to do ones with skis and everything else. See, one of the, the problems too is the the livery really the livery really matters, and I can try to get one of. They'll provide the plane, they say, but I'm worried that if I pick this, it's it's gonna uh, not work because the liveries don't exactly match. That's one of the weird things about this. this application here it'll mess you up a lot too if you don't pick the right livery and come back in nothing works and if you're not you know fully aware of that that, that can uh, delay you for quite a while All right, well, we'll we'll try it, I suppose. The Cessna Skyhawk G1000 Amphibian. I don't know why it's requiring that. Again, I don't think there is an amphibian test. I think it's the same, kind of the same test for a lot of them so far. Let's try it. Then we need to move to 2C... D6. Cessna Skyhawk G1000 Amphibian has been reserved for you at 2CD6 with a qualification test preloaded. Alright, so you need to come out here. Your pilot. Go to 2CD6. Or, you know, whatever. Well, oh, not 8. Thousand bucks. It's not the test that's going to get you, it's the distance to move. On one of the tests, I had to go out of state. It was like 4,000 bucks. 
So be, pay attention to how far away your testing facility is. Try to find one as close as possible. All right, then in the simulator, you have to pick a similar plane. So we want uh, 172. And the, uh, the amphibian one. Look at the liveries. That's it. And then go to that airport to CD6. There's no parking. So how in the world are you going to start cold and dark? Hmm. If you spawn on either end of the runway, it it starts you there with the engine started, and you can't do that. You have to start. Off the runway. And then if you. Pick any place else that isn't a designated spot, then. It'll spawn you in the air. So, are we already messed up now? I don't know if we can do this one then. Let's see here. Is there, they don't give you... See, they don't give you any parking. You have no choice. That's ridiculous. So yeah, if we come in here, the test probably won't start. I guess we'll try it, but I I don't think it will. So that was a waste of money, a waste of a, if if it doesn't, a waste of a thousand bucks to move us over there, waste of another hundred something dollars for setting the test up. try to shut the engine off but I don't know if it'll do a bit of good That's bugged. That's bugged. Well, it's that they, for whatever reason, the computer decided that, that was the airport it wanted, and that it's just wrong. Great way to start the day. Blowing the money. All right. Well, before we take off, let's check this place here. We have to change planes to the one with skis. And it is at Colorado Air and Spaceport. Now that, that should have parking. 
All right, so let's go back out to the hangar and cancel our job. Cancel this. Oh, who's not working? That's me. Oh, wait a minute. You can come back in here and put your pilot in that plane. I still don't think it's going to work. Right? I'll come back over here. I'll try it again. Definitely need to have your pilot set for the plane. But I'll restart it, but I don't think we're going to get anywhere. It's the one with the G1000. Let me see. Just a classic. So hopefully now when we get in here, now that we're... Oh, great, it's completely overcast. When we get in here, hopefully she starts talking and we know everything's working right. Come on. What now?
So what's the problem? Well, I don't know. ACFO. shouldn't make any dang difference whatsoever though that doesn't work I'll come back out we'll try the one with the G1000 if that doesn't work it's a bust and I just have to move on and, and go into the discord and let them know that what's going on and what a terrible time we had on a live stream today trying to do their qualification qualifications and they also say you can keep taking your test as many times as you want well the tests that i want aren't there nope Nothing. What is going on? Yeah. 
Everything's freezing up. It won't go back to A. Go to C. Go to A. There it goes. Uh. right at the moment let's try something else i really want to qualify for the douglas dc3 let's see if we can do that one in butler 81 miles at in wyoming wy19 DC3 white classic W WY19. Okay. Try it again. WY19. WY19. There it is. Sign ourselves to it. There it is. WY19 isn't coming up as an airport. I'm so sick of this simulator. Uh, this Neofly. WY. One nine. So now I can't. <laughs> Now I can't go to the airport they want me to go to because in here it doesn't exist. W-Y. See if they've got it. There's 11, 33. 23, 13. WY1 1514 There is no WY19 <laughs> Ah Butler, 
Let's type in butler. Butler, Wyoming. Nothing. Well, man, I am full of profanity that is ready to come out. Let me turn off my microphone for a second, okay? Be right back. Cocksucker, motherfucker, it's a piece of shit. Motherfuckers. All right, I got most of it out. I am so mad. Because that's the plane that I want to test on. That is, that's that's the one that I want. I need to be able to test for that because I needed to buy two or three of them. What? Well, hmm. Well, this kind of blows up. Uh, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, now that we've blown a couple of thousand dollars. I mean, in the big picture of things, that's it's chump change that we what we've just spent trying to do this. But I'm going to. Uh, Restore progression to the start of today. And I'm going to restart the NeoFly app. And I might just give up on this whole idea of testing today. I'm just too pissed off right now. What time is it? Top of the hour. Time for a um, commercial break in a station identification. Man, oh man, oh man. I'm not even going to bother with them for the moment. Are the same tests up.
Ooh. Airbus A320 Neo. But to rent one of those would cost, what, millions and millions and millions? We're a long way away from the A320. Let's try taking this one again since we've done it and we know that it's close and um, see what happens. AFF. If you don't click right on it and it, these little dots where you're trying to spawn into you don't turn green, you're not spawning in. I don't know what's wrong with the Neofly. That is absolutely correct now. But we got no audibles whatsoever. So. using the right model. Huh. Oh well, 
Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? First step, okay. start your engines according to the aircraft procedure. All right. So that is working. Okay. Ah! Son of a gun. They don't, uh, the, these checklists don't give you everything you need to do to advance in these tests. And it's, it's really causing a lot of problems because they don't tell you to turn on your landing lights when you get to the runway. Why you have to have your landing lights on when you're going to take off, I don't know. But it'll stop your, it'll stop your test right in its tracks. I'll show you in a moment. So it doesn't tell you in these checklists. Let's see here. Parking brake strobe on. It doesn't tell you to turn on your taxi lights. And it doesn't tell you to turn on your landing lights. So watch what happens when I taxi out there. And we get to the runway. We didn't also, we didn't, we're also not getting our... Academy ground, ground continues, 2-1 ready, ready, ready to taxi, taxi departing straight, straight out with, with Quebec. Quebec.
Taxiing Hold Short Runway 16 Center via Taxiway Charlie Cross Runway A Charlie Bravo Kia 21. Yep, you gotta love taxing by the rules. Can't tax any faster than you can walk. In this case, crawl. If you do taxi too fast, she will fail you in a heartbeat. Okay, we're here, right? We're on the runway, and she hasn't told us to do anything else, to go onto the runway and take off. You're frozen, right? This is where it's making everybody mad because it doesn't say turn on your landing lights. All right, but when you turn on your landing lights, Align with, Align with the runway and take off. Align with the runway and take off. All right, she's going to want us to go up to like 10,000 feet. So let me get that dialed in there. Put in a flight level change. knots whatever we're going to be on a heading of one six zero and 
we're going to need to maintain a heading of 160 for a while. Then she's going to want us to turn around, do a Yui. So heading set to 160. Da, 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 da. Turn off our taxi lights and let's do it. Trigger flaps. What time is it? Close enough to the bottom of the hour. I'm going to do this now, get it out of the way, do a station identification and a commercial break. Stand by. Welcome back. You're watching Kinius, the Sky Dude on YouTube TV. Something like that. And we are going to um, start our test here. Now, climb to 1,000 feet AGL. Alright. Oh, only 1,000 feet? Ah, uh, well, let's... Huh. Do we on a pilot for not heading?
They're so low. Now climb to 3,000 feet AGL. Maintain the same heading. I don't want to push it, but boy, are we climbing slow. Do the do the do the do.
lovely day here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Gotta give it that. setting 16 or 160 sorry intercept that we get there we're a ways out so it intercept pretty fast Just meandering in the skies.
Well, that sounds kind of creepy. Already here, what? No bueno. Just turn into a crap show. Touch and go or not. Uh, cross arming. Academy Tower is two miles north, seven thousand four hundred feet, with a back touch and go. You need to go on the 
What? Going around KS two one. No, we're not. Dropping the flaps, get a little speed going again to try to climb up here. Okay. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Man, what a day already. None of the tests that we first set up wanted to work at all. We finally got this one going. I don't I have a feeling she's not gonna be happy with this performance though. So um, I'm trying to get three stars on a qualification. I haven't been able to achieve that yet. And um, I really wanted to take the test today for the DC-3, but they have it set up at a runway that doesn't exist. So earlier, spent a bunch of money getting that set up to go do it, and then the airport doesn't exist in Microsoft Flight Simulator. WY-19 in Wyoming. Yeah. first one that they sent us to to test with the Cessna it had no it had no parking areas you can't you have to spawn into either side of the runway and the test won't start you have to start at a parking spot so you're cold and dark <laughs> but yeah been one of those days
Oh, I thank you. That is the Air Academy football field down below us. That's where uh, the cadets graduate from and where the presidents usually go to say a word to them where they do all the flyovers. seems so slow.
Gotta be careful on the taxi speeds. She's a real stickler. Enjoying the the classic station on pretzel. Love it. We've literally heard some classic hits. And I guess that maybe because they're so old they're in the public domain. Because when we first got on, we got like what was it, Tchaikovsky's Night on Bald Mountain? Like what? I wonder what the YouTube uh, AI is gonna think about some of it. Bumpity, bumpity, bumpity. Have you noticed uh, down there on my uh, screen that white flashing bar that's been happening there? It's something to do with your, like your flight plan being bugged. If you've got something set up in here, and delete all that out of there. And then, yeah, and that, I was gonna say, if that doesn't work, go in a menu and try to, uh, delete the flight plan. No? I'm gonna say that usually does it. Oh well. See if she's happy with this. Let's stop right here. And they don't have a shutdown procedure, do they? No. Congratulations. You passed your qualification. Have a nice day. That's it. Okay. Nope, still didn't get three stars. Um, where's the log? What did we get? Did we get anything? They need a better, um... They need a better way for you to understand what's going on with your testing. What, what just happened? What was your grade? What did you, you know?
Hmm. Well, folks, I don't know. I need to go into the Discord and then talk to maybe talk to them about. I mean, what are we missing here that we're not? I mean, that one I'm. I guess maybe wasn't probably the best. We were a little uh, off course on our way back, and then I had to. I didn't descend all the way back, and then I had to do a spiral down, so that wasn't ideal. We did our touch and go at the right speed and did that fine. A little after the top of the hour, I'm going to pause right here for a station identification and a commercial break. If you're watching Kenny as Sky Dude on YouTube TV. Bum, bum, bum. we don't get the log for it. Uh -huh. Where all my guys are going? Crazy. Landing, negative 151. Really? Hmm. That's probably it right there. Man, look at all these landings. Are there all, look, there's 112. Well, I guess I knew I was having problems with landings, but I think this is all my pilots as well. We're all having problems with landings, I guess. A 19. These are all negatives. I was talking to Paul about that yesterday. I'm like, it is a little weird with this plane because it's so flat bottomed. You don't, you don't really flare. Kind of got to keep it straight and aiming for the end of the runway. You just seem to bottom out a lot faster than you think. And the ground effect just, just like sucks you down real fast. So it seems that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it at the moment. Huh? And the DC-3 test will check it again, but I doubt it's changed from its earlier location. Yep, 
yeah, this 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 location does not exist in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Whether you type in Wyoming uh, and search for it that way, it doesn't show up. WY19 doesn't exist. You can search for Butler, but can't find anything like it. So another thing that needs to be reported. That's happened to me a couple of times where you pick a job as well and you it just it's not there. It doesn't exist. So how that there's this discrepancy or they've typed it in wrong when they were somehow they maybe put it in wrong. Somebody slipped on the keyboard and it was supposed to be WY18, which does exist. All right, this whole time we have not had our pilots working. So I think I'm gonna just, I think I'm kind of done with the testing. Today's not the good day for it. Maybe wait a day or two and see if any of the tests recycle. They're like, you can take the same test over and over again uh, with the same plane, but the ones I took earlier for the Cessna with the Garmin 1000, they're not there anymore. So I don't know what they're talking about. It does seem to change. So we need to put everybody back into their planes. They partied last night. I, I turned it off last night after our, our live stream and I just, you know, I didn't go back into it. And when I turned it back on this morning, all of them were still at like 49 health. Like they just went and partied right after work and they just came into work all hung over and hammered. So I had to yank them out of their planes and then shut it down again. So you might run into that too. If you just shut the thing down, sometimes they just don't... Uh, they don't heal themselves or, you know, I mean, it's not heal, it's, a, it's their health, but it's really how tired are they? It'd just be, you know, their tired level. BJC. All right. So from the top, starting with Berlin, check the fuel, make sure he has just enough to get by. A short run and go. You have to press these little icons next to their picture. Make them go once you pick the job. Over here to Hurricane. Maybe just a touch more fuel, not much at all. Again, keeping their fuel low allows them to take heavier cargo jobs, even though the short, some of the short cargo jobs pay fantastic. Like this, it's a, oh, no, 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 $21,000 for a 22 mile job, almost 23,000, can't beat that. They're all in caravans, most everybody. I mean, I got my rookie guys, they can't move up. And there doesn't seem to be any way to qualify them or raise their skills and get more XP for them. So 21,000 for a 25 mile job, beautiful. So if everybody could do a 20,000 job, you know, it's like $100,000 in 15 minutes. But it's not usually ideal. You're not always getting a $20,000 job. We'll take 19. And 
bulldog here. Oh yeah, need some fuel. Eighteen thousand for thirty four miles. The only twenties are thirty eight miles. Well, but he can't carry it. Too much payload. Thirty nine miles. Oh, that's so eighteen it is. Like he's already got a job. I guess it did not toggle over to him. Yeah, so he, uh, well, he's in a small plane. So 4,027 miles isn't so bad. Let's check now and make sure. Okay, so only Ghost Rider's missing. Good, they're all working except for him. now working so that's going to be over a over a hundred thousand dollars for all that that's nice okay where are we at 17 minutes after the hour time for <laughs> i'm trying to do them every 15 minutes like radio and tv you get your commercial break in there and uh then your station id so i'm gonna do that now stand by you're watching kinius the, the sky dude on youtube tv I just picked a job and we didn't get any uh, audible. One of those days, I'm at the place, I'm in the plane, I'm at the proper runway.
the aircraft is already at the proper location. So what's the problem now? Oh, um, nah, aha, same problem that happens all the time. Delivery. It's very important that you match your livery. You're going to be sad like that all the time. It's just, I don't know what the deal is. BJC. And you need to make sure that... thousand dollars off that job and it's just this rapid little dirt runway and it look actually it looks like it's asphalt or concrete all racked and jacked up whatever it's a runway one c one c d two Transporter, you must deliver this package before the deadline. The earlier, the better. Captain, we have some crates marked as urgent. We'll load them now. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get her started up. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. If the AI works today, he has been failing to operate properly. He can't even, he couldn't even taxi us properly yesterday. He kept taking us out to a field and parking, or he would go to those guys that are, he would like head to the nearest guys, the pushback guys, and just sit there and talk to them. Not really sure what, what's going on with the, uh, So far, so good, though. Uh, you can use your um, AI to, um, once you get off the ground, if you have your flight plans in there, to have him pretty much do all the work but because he's off all the time uh he's crashed the plane on taxiing he uh i'm not sure what he did when we were at colorado springs municipal airport i told him to taxi out to the runway and he totaled the plane 
I don't know what he ran into or what. The next thing I know, they're just like, your plane has crashed. And he completely totaled the plane during taxi. I just like reinforcing that point. I mean, look at how fast we're going. He managed to total a plane doing this. Don't know how. Um, on takeoffs, sometimes he's gone really far right. He can't maintain a center line. Uh, when coming in for a landing, he'll do the landing pattern beautifully. And then at the last minute, he'll turn away. And he won't go in for the landing, even though you have clearance. You have your runway all picked out, yada, yada, yada. He just... Oh, I decide. He just decides, oh, I'm not going to... And then he'll land like three miles away in a field. The worst thing is, is when he is perfect and he's landing and he brings it in for... It does everything perfect, comes in for the landing, and then he smashes into the runway. Doing horrible amounts of damage to your aircraft, which everything is painfully expensive in this uh, mod. This mod. It's going to be one of the things you just will scream at is how expensive everything is. Because, you know, you're struggling so hard. You're grinding so hard to make money. And then, uh, like, especially when you're in the Cessna and you're starting out, it's only a... You can only sell your plane for 25000 It's about a $140,000 plane. But you'll rack up bills that are, like, way more than what the plane costs. So I went over to Discord and I started complaining to them. I'm like, the plane cost, I can't sell it for more than 25. The plane costs no more than 140, but I'm doing like $45,000, $100,000 or more worth of repairs. Well, we don't calculate it. Da, 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 we'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, please do. We don't take the cost of the plane into consideration. Well, why not? You can buy a brand new one. I could buy three for what you're charging me. So this is still a pre-release. I can't complain too much. So anything that's gone wrong, like with the tests and everything else, I just have to, you know, grin and bear it. I chose to, to buy the pre-release. I thought it was all ready. I, I didn't know, actually, when they said, get Neo Fly 4. It's the latest... Okay. Tower key is two one and runway three zero right ready for departure departure to the north. Two nine nine six. Clear for takeoff runway three zero. Two nine nine six and we were going to um plug that in. 1C B2 1 C D2 Wreck That's not good. Some foreshadowing I don't like. Wreck airstrip. CDI to GPS. Probably don't need more than Eight thousand feet, but do eight five. Set for flight level change. The yaw damper on. Bank damper, I believe. Set it to nav. Keep it on the keep it down the middle, Steve. Come on. Come on, keep keep it on the runway, man. Come on, man. Rudder, Steve. Rudder. Then I'm going to switch him off, turn on the autopilot. Tower 
for the smoke break yet? No, oh, we missed it. It's the bottom of the hour. You're watching Kinius, uh, the sky dude, having one of those days. Thank God it's Friday, right? Stand by for station identification and a commercial break. Roger, Kinius, 2-1. Denver, approach. Smoke if you got him. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. I can't. Through oh man. Oh hey Paul, how are you? I see you in the chat now. Working on setting up your Oculus. Fantastic. Yeah, well my <laughs> I, my day personally, my day is fantastic. And thank you for asking. And I hope your day is fantastic as well. Uh, with the simulator today and with going on, you know, in here, I wanted to do some testing today. It's all turned to crap, man. It's all been kind of crap. And the <laughs> and whoever else is is tuning in, I, w I can't thank you enough for tuning in today. I hope your day is going great as well. I hope everything's working fine for you on your end. And again, I can't thank you enough for taking a moment out of your day to watch any of this. You are the key to my success, and I really appreciate it, and I can't thank you enough. Um, we have a long way to go. I wouldn't... I mean, it's a success that you're watching, but I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not making the big bucks. You know, a whole lot, you know, not a lot of people tune into flight simulator stuff. You know, I'm not playing, what is it, Diablo 3 or, you know, anything really that, that the kids want to watch, the cool kids. I think we're the cool kids, personally. Doesn't matter if we're in our 50s or not, we're the cool kids. Not a lot of cool kids tune into a lot of stuff like this. So, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're not like, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. You will be saving a life. Mine. As long as the wife hears that things are just continually moving up. She's like, that's great, honey. Keep going. Keep going, honey. It's one of those when this... When all this stops working at all, and I'm not getting any in, any uh, likes and subscribers, and I want to be in the doghouse. After COVID and everything else with jobs, my particular job during the day as a transporter, I'm on standby all the time, and they just haven't been. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of work. So I'm gonna, you know, either have to find another job or. Alternatives like this where, you know, maybe make a buck or two here or there. And I'd really, really, really like to keep doing this rather than go work for Amazon or something. Or do something else. Telemarketing from home. Anything. I would much rather do this. So, every like and subscribe is fantastic. Okay, let's check. I'm sure we have a ways to go still, but let's check. Um, I don't see it now.
Oh, I don't see it on our, uh, I don't see anything here. Oh well. It says that we're... What? It says that we're over it? That can't be right. Two minutes and 35 seconds? No. I guess so. Wreck. And the wind is blowing from the south. So we should land on runway eight. Into the wind. I'm gonna say this sounds like the sugar plum berry. Cool. All right, so watch. We'll turn on Steve and see what he does. See if he can handle it. All right, Steve. You do that, Steve. You manage that and see if to see if you can get us down to land. And while you're doing that, I need to run over and check our pilots and put them onto other jobs if they're done. Okay. All right. So Goose is done. And uh, find him another job. Twenty-two for twenty-two. No, and he can't carry the payload. Twenty-three for twenty-six. That's fine. Thank you, Goose. Hurricane. Seventeen thousand for twenty miles. That looks like our best bet. That's too bad. 26 and 24, he can't carry the payload. What about this one? No. And how about 15? We'll settle for 15. Fine. Fine, fine. He is taxing the parking. Bulldog is. He's landing. Landing, landing. Taxing the parking, so they'll be ready in a minute. How are we doing, Steve? Doing good. Don't know why that flashes like that. Very strange.
little wide, but he's doing all right so far. I'll take over from him when we're on final. I just don't trust him with the landing anymore. We already paid out too heavily yesterday. Just too, too much. Where are you going? You alright? on laggy thing let's go twenty six thousand can't carry it twenty four thousand can't carry it can't carry it come on He's only in a 172. He can't be carrying that much weight. Five. Three. Three, 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 five. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we're almost to final. Bulldog will have to wait a moment. All right. Taking over, Steve. Autopilot is off. Off. Flaps all the way. I thought that was like the cheers theme. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Doesn't it kind of start off sounding like that?
transporter. Your deadline will expire in five minutes. Hurry up! You grease that landing. Ace. Contact ground for your parking assignment, then shut down your engine. I'm surprised I thought this was gonna be a crappy runway. Or a you know, real nasty concrete. No, it actually turned out to be quite a, quite a nice little place here in wrecked wrecked air park or wrecked airway or whatever the heck this is here. <coughs> well, alright. Without shutting your engine off, well it, I mean it'll possibly shut off anyway. You just drop your engine fuel conditioner all the way to zero. Give it a couple of seconds the propeller to slow down and it it'll kick in and she'll start disembarking or you'll get the disembarking transporter audible. cargo unloading in progress, progress. right stand by pilot 47 minutes after the hour let me get bulldog done and then we'll do a station id and commercial break another smoke break i need it man today for sure but again it's friday so can't be too depressed Okay, 13, 14, can you take the Transporter from nope. dispatch. The cargo 14. was picked up by the customer. Your mission is completed. Thank you, thank you. Come on, 14. Everything is on board. 13 for 19 miles? That's better. Saves fuel. So. I thought we'd set Maverick up. Oh, not say anything. Ah, <laughs> uh. Watching Kinius, the Sky Dude on YouTube TV, stand by for a commercial break and station identification. chickens run Since, since we just put um, Discord on, um, I'm not real familiar, you know, I'm not real into the habit of, you know, yet making sure it's launched and set up in the background as well. If you want to come into 
the chat room. But, right? So do I have to invite, if we're friends, do you, I don't know if you're there, Paul, but if you're there, and if we're friends, can you just, you can just come into the chat room, right? Into the Discord server room. I know you're playing games, so don't, you know, you don't have to. Just curious as to what the answer might be. But I saw earlier that you were logging in and uh, getting your Call of Duty on for the day, and that's fantastic. You're a beast, man. Go out there and get a man. But for our other friend, whoever you might be, if you were interested, uh, for whatever, I, I'm trying to get into the habit of using Discord, and it seems that uh, we can route voice communications through OBS with that. Um, there's a lot of things that Discord can do that I'm just unaware of at the moment. Never really used it before, so stuff I have to learn. If it does do this here and your, and your job times out on you, the simulator times out and goes to one of these screens, you can continue, but it can desync things. It can cause a desync between you and Neofly. So I just recommend going back to the main menu. Yeah, you're gonna have to start your plane over again, but it's better than a potential desync. So just go back out and then spawn back in. So we were at the location R2D2 C uh we were at one C D2 one C D2 and a short term memory, right? Wreck. And these things I've put in a request for years now. For them to please put the little run, you know, it, it, it make these things slide to the side a little bit. They don't need to be right, right on top. I mean, maybe a little indicator arrow because if you zoom in too close, sometimes it obscures your only parking spots. Hello, Captain. Nice, nice to see you again. again. Nice to be seen. Ready, Ready for engine start. start. All right, let's see what there is job-wise. PCFO, there's one to cave fly for 17,000. That takes us back to our home, our home base. I'm gonna, even though I'm taking a loss of money, not going to KCFO. That's fine. I want to go. We haven't stopped at our home base in a while. So let's head to K Fly. Pilot, this is dispatch. The mail that is being loaded up is time sensitive. No delays, please. It's very sensitive. It uses Transporter from dispatch. dispatch. Loading Loading express, express packages. packages. Please, please stand, stand by. by. Yep. The mail is very woke and has pronouns. Very sensitive. Transporter. Loading is complete. Let's go. All right. Don't want to do any of that with the engines on. Let's wait a minute. Tower for clearance. All right. I don't believe they have a tower here, but 
That's fine. We're departing to the south. One Charlie Delta, Delta two traffic Canadians, two, two one taking off runway, runway eight, eight south, south departure. departure. Fly. Set, change the CDI, GPS, yada yada yada. Do pushback. Over 70 knots. That's fine. Laps. Just a little early. All right, Steve. Good job, man. Don't park, just put it on the runway. Where are you going? This guy. Where's he going? Look at him, he's, he's gonna, this is where he crashes. He, just, he has no idea where he's going. He wants to look at fields. All right, you're out of here. 86, man. What a simple thing. All he had to do was turn the left and take off.
A little after the top of the hour, let me pause there. You're watching Kinius, the Sky Dude on a YouTube TV. Stand by for commercial break and station identification. And smoke, we got him. I need to change the title of today's artwork to from a test day to a testing day, meaning testing your patience, testing my patience with all the uh, qualification tests that don't work today when I want to take them. Stop audio is on. So you're hearing the Neo fly. Let's go to the audio channel for Neo fly. We need to check on our pilots, and I'm sure that a bunch of them are waiting.
Okay. Oh, so we still have a ways to go. I didn't realize we were that far away. Yeah, it's not that far. Uh, what is what does it say here? What? Uh, fifty-seven miles. Twenty-two minutes, really? And what's the altitude? Sixty. We won't make it over that hill. We've got to get to at least like eight five. Light level change just does not seem to want to work right either. So I'm slowing down the NOS, try to get it to climb.
or just switch to vertical speed and do it this way. As long as we're doing a small climb, it doesn't even matter. It'd just be like this, 500 feet. But, gotta get over that hill. thousand feet per minute. Really? Oh, no. Really? Yeah? Don't tell me we're out of fuel. Are we out of fuel? Kill us, or what are you doing? 
You silly thing. What are you doing? It's like it locked the trim in place. It's like it locked the trim in the nose up position. But when it took over, it's just kept climbing and trying to keep, even though alt hold is on. All right, so an off alt hold for the moment. Turn this on. Now alt hold. Come on. And now. It's always something. 18 minutes after the hour, I'm going to pause right there for a commercial break station identification. Oh, good. 7,100 to clear that. Oof. Seems rather appropriate. Oh. Should be 
good there. Mozart, I feel so, uh, the word I'm looking for. Enlightened. Affluent. Listening to Mozart. I don't even know the title of this one. Rondo a la Turca. Sorry, I'm going to update the artwork for today's cover. Instead of saying a testing day, it's going to be scratched out. Or test day, it's going to be scratched out. Say a testing day. Yeah. It's testing me, testing my patience. We update that now. Yep, 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 yep. Right, Mozart? Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, we're gonna stall again? What now? Oh my lord.
this is just Keep going, might as well. Dun, 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 dun. Where are you going, Steve? Just, just stop the plane, man. I guess I, I didn't plan for him. I thought 8,000. Yeah, and again, we weren't. We'd never actually achieved 8.5. That's a. I guess that's my bad. Studio. Uh, studio. That's more appropriate. It's the bottom of the hour anyway, so time for a commercial break and station identification.
I need to check the window store and see if they've got a clock but yeah there well, the windows has got a clock yeah this works in minutes
I wonder how Paul's doing with his Oculus Rift. That's cool. I hope he gets it working. I really can't wait to hear his opinion on trying some of this stuff in VR. The heck is this? Like classic rap and rap? No, thank you. No, thank you. That's a that's Steve flying. That's not me. <laughs> flying like Stevie Wonder is what he's doing. stick it don't damage the hull he hasn't been able to stick a landing in some time that nose up man get the nose up we check our hull Did good. I did that damage or whatever. So very nice. Good. You haven't stuck a landing in three weeks, man. As I look over at my invisible co pilot, give him the eye. And then you're going to turn, take the. Are you gonna turn here? Really? Instead of taking the taxi? Never mind. Just stop the plane. Eesh.
the engine is down. Still thinks the engine's running. Can't ditch this job yet. We're in the 45 minute mark. One more minute. We set the beam. It's even the simulator's having a hard time right now. What is going on? Come on. 45 minutes after the hour, time for station ID and a commercial break. All right, welcome back. You're watching Kinius the Sky Dude on YouTube TV. I'm trying to get this job to cancel. It still thinks the engine is running. Let me shut down Neo Fly and turn it back on. Maybe it'll reset the plane. Ah, it sees a mismatch. I see it. Put me back at 1CD2. What an amazingly buggy day today has been. Just buggy, 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 and it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon.
right? Uh, how about now, buddy? Cancel that job. Very nice. That's good. Let's move you back to K-Fly. Bringing the plane over here, and but we should be good to go. Working much today. Start your engine. Not working much at all. Almost at, back to five million. Lacrimosa.
I liked it. Uh, so I've heard it before. Is that definitely a classical piece? Lacrimosa? What is this? No. And this is jazz. This doesn't sound like classical at all. This says 80s spirit. So somehow or another it's run out of classical and is now just throwing whatever at me. There we go. It's lost its mind. Like me. Today has been a very, very testing day. I don't even know if I want to fly anymore. I'm that three o'clock anyway. Did get a late start, but man. Man. Transporter from dispatch. Good morning. The sensitive cargo mission will start as soon as you get in your aircraft in the parking. Aircrew, be advised, today's fragile cargo is being manually handled onto the aircraft at the customer's request. Cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. Everything looks good from where I'm sitting. Taxi to the runway and take off. Kilo Fox dropping in traffic in east 21 taking off runway 15 south departure.
Top of the hour, you're listening to, you're watching Kinius the Sky Dude on YouTube TV. One moment for a station identification and a commercial break. Well, how do you make it turn the timer off? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh, I see. There it is. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, all right. Well, since it seems to be running out of classical anyway. Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe and remember to it's watch Friday. your landing. It's getting later in the day. I'm going to start putting on some rock and roll. I should probably break out a beverage. An adult beverage. I need it, man. I think we all... Colorado we all need an adult beverage right about now. We're going to the rock channel. This is one of the best rock songs I've heard, man. I like this dude's voice, man. This is a this is well done.
All right. You were watching Kidding Us on YouTube TV. We're heading to Lamar, Colorado.
All right. And what does that mean? It means it's 15 minutes after the hour. That means it's time for a commercial break and a station ID. You gonna pause there? Uh-huh. Okay. What? Took forever to pause. Okay. I don't understand. All right, welcome back. You watched the commercial lettuce. Uh, you're watching Kidding Us, this guy dude on YouTube TV. Very trying testing day. Patience and all that. Yeah, I wanted to do a bunch of testing today, and most of the airports don't work. The airplane that I want to use. Yeah, so very trying day. Tried um, doing a bunch of testing this morning, and either the the planes I didn't want to test, um, and if they did have the plane, then the airport doesn't exist in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And so today was a big bust as far as testing is concerned. And then I was just so frustrated. So finally, when I did get one to work, you know, it just my brain wasn't there. My my Zen wasn't there. My mojo wasn't there. So I'm like, Psh, this is not the right day now for this. I'm too angry. I had to turn off my microphone and just let out a humongous stream stream of obscenities. You know, you plan to do something and again, then you come on to do your live stream and just everything goes wrong. Like, well, I planned the wrong thing today. Another wonderful show. The next tune's called My Mom Like Is it My Mom Like It? Does that mean my mom likes it? Maybe they're foreigners. Freaking Pretzel Rocks app now is freaking out too. Trying to adjust the damn volume. Which is I tell you.
Well, I can get why your mom likes it. That was pretty cool. Hey, look at the, look at this. Back to five million. You know, this career thing is just, uh, it's a trip. It's a career. I mean, the hours that we have put in already, episode 32, each one, two to eight hours. So it really is a career mode because, yeah, it just, you need to put in so much work. And then this is still just chump change. It really is. Five million is just chump change. But with that, I think I am done um, with uh, flying for today. I think I've had it with NeoFly. I'm just ready for the weekend to be here. I'm glad the rock and roll's on. I need an adult beverage. I got to come back tonight and do Baldur's Gate at 7 p.m. So, yeah. Yeah, my friends. I hope you have an amazing weekend full of fun and adventure no drama no bad mojo bad uh, juju whatever so i will see you uh tomorrow is saturday but tomorrow's dungeons and dragons day for real we go play with friends so i will see you sunday 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 yeah i will see you sunday for more flying activities and hopefully my brain will be in the right spot so until then my friends good goodbye